Hello, 我係陳老師。I'm so glad to see you today. We have been learning about greetings, like the simple "Joseon", 你好，點嘛、啊、，and even the "Joygin", bye bye, and some other things that we say when we see each other. 今日我哋學一啲日常用語 ，something that we use every day. So let's take a look. When we are talking to others, there are two、uh, expressions that we commonly get confused. In English, both of them are "thank you, thank you." Right here, I have one version of "thank you" in Chinese. It says "ngai, ngai." We say "ngai" when we have someone else. Doing something for us when we sort of ask for it. For example, if I say, "Oh,、um, can you pass me the salt, please?" If someone passes it to you, we say, "Ngai." So it's mostly when people do something for you when you are expected. Okay, so this would be how we say it: "Ngai, ngai." And if you want to be even more polite, you will add a "sai" at the end to mean like completely. Ngai sai, ngai sai. That would be really, really, really polite. There is another thank you. It says "do zhe, do zhe." When will we use? Dote as thank you. That is when someone gives you something that you did not expect. For example, when someone say, "Oh, you look so nice today. Oh, your dress is so beautiful." You will say, "Dote, dote." Or if someone give you a gift, you didn't expect anything like that. So you say, "Dote." So even when people give you a gift that you expected, like oh, it's a birthday gift that you already heard, you still say "dote" because you don't deserve it. Well, we don't deserve a gift, okay? And how to make it even more polite? How to say like completely thank you, thank you so much? We say "dote sai." Dote sai. So during the Chinese New Year, if you get any red pocket from like your grannies or your daddy or your mummy, you will have to say dote sai. Of course, with other greetings in the Chinese New Year. When someone say dote or ngai to you, how do you respond? You can say, "Oh, it's no problem," but in Chinese we say, "Nsai ha he," "Nsai ha he." You see, the ha he is in the bracket, so it could just be "Nsai," "Nsai." That would still be okay, but of course, it's a little less formal. So to be very grateful and say you are very welcome, we say, "Nsai ha he." Say ha hey, look at me and the penguin. Well, we are being very polite. You're welcome. Well, you know something. Think sometimes things happen. Sometimes, well, we do something wrong. Oopsie. Well, and if there are a few ways for us to say I'm sorry, right here is when we really did something really wrong. Then we will say. 对唔住，对唔住。That is to say, oh, I'm so sorry. Then I, 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 I promise I won't do it again. And I know it's messing up a lot of things. So, 对唔住 What if it's just a little something that is not very serious? For example, while、well, you walk by someone, oh, and you just accidentally hit. Him or her? No, you not hit them and just just like bump into somebody. 
Well, it's easier to say, okay? So these are for smaller things. When we say, well, oh, um, I, I just pick up your pen um, like accidentally. Oh, here you go. Okay. So if someone say, I'm sorry, oh, to be nice to the other person, we'll say, it's okay. So this is to be generous to others because when people say, well, they mean it. And even if you have something to say to others, you want people to forgive you, right? So, and to uh, to say well uh, uh, to say mo man tai, there are different ways and different situations that you can say mo man tai. Well, if people ask you to help them and they say, oh, thank you so much. Uh, I really need your help and I really appreciate it. Oh, momentai, no problem. Then this is a very nice way to say, oh, I can handle it, momentai. Or if people did something like kind of bad and they say, doimju, doimju. Yes, you can say, but to really calm them down, like, oh, momentai, momentai, ga, momentai. So people will really feel like, oh, okay, so I didn't really do it too bad. So let's get into like situations where you are trying to understand something. So when people explain something to you, like, oh, um, how do I get to this place? They give you the direction and tell you, oh, you go this, 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 and this. Oh, of course, if you are really, oh, I got it. Well, we can always get the, oh, at the beginning. Even when your teacher is uh, explaining something and asking you, oh, lay meng meng do you understand? Then you can say, Now, after learning all these everyday sentences, let's learn how to write two terms. Well, the first term is from what we say, When we say, I, Meng, understand, la, you know, we put la in at the end of everything, right? Meng, well, when we say meng, understand, it is more like meng ba, meng ba. So let's take a look. The word meng has two parts, one on the left, one on the right. And the word ba, well, it's just one part. Let's take a look at how we write these two words. The word meng, we have a yat on the left side. And the word yat means a sun. And the part on the right, it is the yut. Do you know what this yut means? It is the moon. Having the sun and the moon together, meng means bright. Shining bright, meng. Then we have the word ba. It is a color. Do you know what color it is? Ba is white. So having something both clear and white, that is to understand it. Meng ba, meng ba. Of course, you can also say, well, when you have something that, oh, I understand now, you can also say, that is also okay. But that will be a little more formal, okay? Yeah, I say it too. 
the next one. It is to say thank you. Do zhe. Do zhe. Do you still remember how, uh, what situation we use the word do zhe? When someone praise you or when people give you a gift that you don't expect or you don't deserve, we say do zhe. Do zhe. The word do zhe, well, for the word do, it's basically from uh, having a top part and a bottom part. Let's take a look at how we write the word. You know, we have to be very, very careful with the word da because sometimes people tend to put the two parts on the side. Da has to be top and bottom. And then we have the word se. There are three parts in se. The left, just like what we learned last time with the word yang se, it is the radical yin. And then in the middle, it is the word sun, the body. And on the right, it is the word chun. Originally, the middle and the right combined into one word. It is, uh, and the, it is a word se is to shoot something. And if you know the word se, well, the part on the far right is not a tune, it is not with a dot. There is a p, a uh, left falling stroke. But to make the word more compact, they have changed the part, the p into a theme, a dot. So now we have the current version of ze, which means to thank you. And some people, when we are making it a very formal writing, instead of writing do ze, you may also have seen people writing ze ze. They mean the same thing. So that's what we have for learning about everyday sentences or everyday basic words. So I hope this helped you in learning how to use the Cantonese more easily.